Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. Okay, we've created our packet and let's pass it down to layer 2 to make our frame. So we'll, we'll pass it down here, move all these values down. And in our case, we need the destination MAC address, which is going to be our default gateways MAC address. And the source MAC address is going to be our MAC address. Let's go back to our diagram and take a look. So we figured out that, okay, computer B's IP address is not in our subnet. So we need to send this frame to our default gateway. So we're going to be using the destination MAC address of 0022. 22222 and we have figured that out with an ARP request and we know the source MAC address is us right now which is our MAC address 00-111111 so I'll go ahead and add our destination and source MAC address and also in our frame header we're gonna need an ether field value and this tells uh, layer 2 what protocol has been encapsulated so what protocol our packet was using and remember up here there was a protocol field that told our layer 3 what segment the protocol was being used. In our case it was TCP, so we use 0x06. Now for our packet, it's using IP version 4. So all these numbers are, stati are uh, standardized for protocol and ether field. And IP version 4 is 0x06. 0800. So this is again a hexadecimal number. We'll talk about this later. It's not necessary to memorize the ether field and protocol values. This is just our example. And also at the end of our frame we're going to add FCS which is a frame check sequence so that error detection can occur when this frame reaches its next destination which is going to be our default gateway. So now this frame is ready to be broken up into bytes and bits and sent over layer 1, which is our actual Ethernet cable. So the bits and bytes are processed, 100, and you can see all the, the bits. Now let's go over to our diagram. So step 1 is done. We're sending our bits over, and they're going to hit the switch that computer A is connected to. And the switch is actually going to take a look at the frame and see what the destination MAC address is. Because remember, a switch works at layer 2. So a switch is going to get all these bits, assemble them, or reassemble the frame, and look at, hey, the destination MAC address is 00222222. And then the switch is going to look in its MAC address table to see if it knows which port to send it out, to send this frame out on based on the MAC address. If the switch has the destination MAC address in its MAC address table, then it knows which port to send it out. So it's going to send it out this port, and then the frame is going to make its way over to our default gateway. So this port on our router. Now if a switch doesn't have the MAC address, the destination MAC address in the MAC address table, then it's actually going to send that frame out all ports on the switch except for the port that it came from. So it would send it out all ports and of course including this port and then the frame would reach this port on the router. So either way it's going to reach this port on the router. As a little side note here, a switch adds MAC addresses to the MAC address table when the source MAC address comes through the switch. So if this router ever sent a frame to this switch then it would know its source MAC address and therefore would know which port to send our frame out because it know hey I got a frame from uh, 222222 on this port so I know I need to send any frame destined for that uh, MAC address out that port. So now we're on step two the router receives the PDU so now the decapsulation process is going to happen because the router is going to get this frame. It's actually going to get bits. It's going to reassemble them into our frame. And then it's going to strip off 
this layer two header because it sees it is the correct destination so it's going to strip off this header let's go ahead and get rid of this header which will leave the packet and it's going to see okay the destination IP address is supposed to be 192.168.8.200 do I know where that network is and it's gonna look in its routing table and we'll talk about routing tables in depth later on but basically a routing table is going to tell what port this packet should be forwarded out and this routing table says it should be forwarded out of our IP address 192.168.6.1 MAC address 00333333 so it's going to forward it out fast ethernet 01 and its routing table is going to know where to forward it to and in this case it needs to forward it to this router on this ethernet port fast ethernet 00 with the IP address 192.168.7.2 and the MAC address 0044444. Now, if if this router does not know the MAC address of this port, then it will actually send an ARP request as well. So it would repeat that whole ARP process to find the MAC address. So now we're at step three. We're going to re-encapsulate this frame. So our packet's going to say the same. This is going to be untouched. The source IP is still 192.168.6.100, and the destination IP is still 192.168.8.200. But we're going to reframe this. And because we're sending it out this port, our source MAC address is going to be 0033333. Our destination MAC address is going to be 0044444. So let's go ahead and add those. And we're still encapsulating IP version 4, so our ether field is going to be the same. And this frame is going to be converted into bits and sent over the wire. So it's traveling over the wire, and now it gets to step 4, where the router receives the PDU.